Look at this family, huge family who are here to support him today. We got Mikkel's dad, Chris, who's here. His mom is here, Brittany. Bonus mom, Jennifer is here. And a big group of brothers and sisters, but the one who's going to represent them all is right there in the black sweatshirt. That's Jet Pilot. Love that name, Jet Pilot. All right. So we know it's been a long journey for you, Mikkel, um, and we've got the hats right here. So let's kick this thing off for 2023. We've got Cal, Houston, Oklahoma, Texas, and TCU. Where are you playing your college football? Well, first, I want to thank God for everything. You know, I want to thank everybody right here for supporting me. My West Side teammates over there, you know, all my coaches. But yeah, hey, Jet, tell them where we're going. Get it. University Jet. of Houston. Jet made the pick. Why don't you give that to your brother, Jet? The University of Houston now has a great wide receiver and a great athlete. That 6'8", 330, he is a massive offensive tackle, and he is down to these schools. We have the entire family here. Mom Maya, stepdad Will, little brother Will as well, and Uncle Marcus Jasmine. He played at Texas A&M and for the Detroit Lions as well. So, Caden, you're down to Houston, Florida, and Texas A&M. Where are you going to play football? Well, first, I want to thank a man above and my family because I wouldn't be in this position without them. Where are we going? Go. Going to the University of Florida. How about that? So what did you see in Billy Napier's program that made you want to go to Florida? Uh, I could see the future, and his program is headed the right way. And that's where I want to be. I just want to reference something, and that's just the size. Malik is 6'3", 201 pounds. He is a big wide receiver. And you told us something in the meetings yesterday that we all love. You do not believe in 50-50 balls. You look at the balls coming your way, it is yours. And he's still waiting for a long ball to come his way in this game today. And we believe that's coming in just a few moments. Now, he helped to lead Simeon Academy to a 12-1 record uh, this season. The Chicago City Championship with 11 touchdowns and projected as a red zone threat in college. That sounds pretty good. All right, here we go. I think we've got the hats here. Your family's here waiting to see what's going to happen. On the far end, we've got Illinois, got Wisconsin, Michigan, Tennessee, and right here is Notre Dame. Here's the moment. We would like to know where you plan to play your college football. First, I would like to thank God for being in this position right now. Secondly, I would like to thank my family for keeping me humble and enjoying this process. Lastly, I'd like to thank my Simeon head coach, Coach Dante, and with that being said, for the next three to four years, I'll be attending. All right. His dad, Curtis, picks up Illinois. Mom looks to be happy. Jackie's brother and sister are here, Devontae and Dorian. And being from Chicago, how much of uh, being that close distance, how much did that play into your decision here? Uh, it, it plays a lot, just showing how they prioritize me and show me how much they really need me on the team. I think this one's very critical because Peyton Woodyard will be the first ever junior to declare in this game. He's the number four safety in the class of 2024, and that's important because he's been a fan of this game his entire life. He's watched this game ever since he was a young man. We have Dad Gerald here. We also have Mom Nora, Brother AJ, Sister Lauren, and about 20 family members here as well. Friends also, even a teammate over here to cheer him on. Okay. And it feels like we have 20 hats on the table as well. Peyton, we have Texas, Florida, Georgia, Michigan, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oregon, and USC. Where are you going to go to school? Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I want to thank my mom and dad for everything they poured into me. Um, I love my brother and my sister uh, and all my family here. I love everyone here for coming and supporting me. Um, with that being said, for the next three to four years, Athens, Georgia, I'm home. There you go, going to Georgia. The family goes bananas. I love Dad Gerald, he's already got the hat, the golf hat going on. So Peyton, to make a decision a year early like this, what was it about Georgia that made you want to go to Athens? Um, just the whole DB tradition they got there. You, know, you got Coach Kirby coaching the DBs, Coach Fran, Coach Muschamp. Uh, if you want to be great, come to Georgia. Look at everybody back here. Hello! That's what I'm talking about. 
This is a, just an amazing story. You talk about a family commitment. Um, when Jamari was 16, his family decided they needed to move from the East Coast to the West Coast. Everybody went to support him in his football dream. His first coach looked at him and said, son, I'm sorry, you're not a quarterback, but let's talk about what you are, and that is a tight end. And of course, we've seen you do amazing things on the football field, and we know more is coming. So along with all the athleticism, a 3.7 grade point average, which is absolutely awesome, and family is here to support him. His mom, Yashika, his dad, Timothy, is right behind me here. Four brothers represented by Chad is here to represent them. Two sisters and Kiera is over here with a big smile representing all his sisters. Okay, big fella, it is now time for you to tell us where you're going to play your college football. So we've got some hats here. We've got Pitt, Louisville, Oregon, and my alma mater, Cincinnati. That has nothing to do with anything right now, okay? <laughs> All right, so tell us, um, Jamari, where are you going to play your college football? Uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank the man above for making everything possible. Uh, I'd like to thank my family for supporting me through everything, thick and thin. And for the next three to four years, I'll be attending University of... <laughs> Go ahead. Jamari, why is Louisville the place for you? Uh, once I visited there, it just felt like home, and it felt like a like I was welcome there. So it just it just that natural feeling of being welcome. It just it, it got to me. TJ, you are down to USC, Louisville, Miami, Georgia, and Colorado. You have your family there. Where are you going to school? First off, I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to play the game I love. Second of all, I want to thank my family, including the clubs of the community. With that being said, I'm taking my talent to the Trying to get the jacket open. Yeah. Look at that, Louisville. How about that? Jeff Brom with back-to-back -back pickups. And we've got Mom Sharonica. Brother David is here. Grandma Carolyn is here. Now, he originally committed to Arkansas State, but his recruiting blew up in August, getting 15 D1 offers since then. And you see that represented here with all of these hats. you got Auburn, Alabama, Louisville, Tennessee, Michigan, USC, yep. and Texas. Tyler, where are you going to school? Uh, first, I want to start by thanking God and my family. And then next, I want to thank all my coaches, all my trainers, Coach Glenn Ford. And yeah, with that being said, I'll be committed to Auburn. At Auburn, the pickup for Hugh Freeze here. So how much was the ability to play early at Auburn a decision factor for you? Um, it was about playing early for real. It was just about the coaching, Coach Zach, Coach Crown, Coach Ty, and Coach Freeze. So I just want to be a part of that. All right, folks, this is a true athlete here in the state of Texas, and I mean he can do it all. Quarterback, defensive back, he's playing corner in this game. Basketball and, of course, track and field. He is the state record holder of the triple jump, uh, 48 feet, 2 inches, so you can really put it out there, and he's going to try and do that one more time before he leaves to play for college for one of these teams right here. His family is here, Mom, Shaisha, his dad, LaMarcus, so, uh, was a running back at TCU. He's back here, a linebacker. Uh-oh, we got a TCU out of here as well. Maybe there's pressure. Stepmom and stepdad, brothers and sisters, and everyone is here ready for the big moment. Jelani, you've had a great week, a great game here, and now the moment has arrived. So we have three acts. We got Texas, TCU, and Oklahoma State. And we know that the Texas schools are fighting to keep you in state. So where are you playing your college football? Well, first and foremost, I want to thank God. Then I want to thank all the pretty ladies that came out oh. to support. So I appreciate y'all. But now, the, uh, <laughs> for the next three to four years, I'll be going to oh. Texas University. Staying in state for the Longhorns of Texas. It's a blessing, man. We understand. It. So, so why Texas? Very close to Waco. Tell us why this is the best place for you. Um, I feel most comfortable there. You know, it's not too far from my mom or nothing. You know, so it's just why well, I was just most comfortable with being there. You know. So. What's the week been like for you? And now to round it out with your family to declare for this school. Man, sir. 
don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm sorry. I ain't got no comment for them. The emotion is getting over him, I think. So let's celebrate him now. Jelani McDonald heading to Texas, and his family's excited about it.